This movie was inspired by a true story about the people who actually found a debug box. And then all sorts of weird things started happening. Even though it, it sounds sort of like mystical or like a fairy tale, it is, um, it is a real thing in the, in the Torah that it, it speaks about um, different types of demons that can attach themselves to a person. It lives between the living and the dead. And you have this mysterious entity coming in and being part of life. And that, I think, speaks to a lot of people who are searching. And I think that's what's unique about this story and about the whole concept of a Adibic. Adibic is a soul that has found no rest and therefore takes over another body. You have to understand that Dibbuk is trying to escape punishment for its sins. The avenging angels punishing the spirit cannot touch it when it's inside the body of a human being. You know, you have this soul that is in limbo, trying to find permanence, trying to find comfort. And you have your own soul, and there's that struggle. There are certainly physical symptoms of being possessed by a dibbuk. There is a kind of hysterical behavior. There is jerking of limbs. There is violent convulsions, odd body postures. Physically, the voice would change. There's some supernatural powers as well. The most recent case I know of uh, occurred two years ago, 2010, in Israel where a rabbi exercised a woman whose body was taken over by a debuk. And it created quite a ruckus because we thought these things do not happen anymore, but they do. The rabbi is invoking God's name to say to the dibbuk, I am the representative of God, dibbuk, leave. You know, it's definitely a metaphor for all of our lives. You know, we all have our little box with our our demons in them and sometimes like when you you open that up you know, it comes flooding out and you can't get it back in you know that's what the whole life is about is to be surrounded by culture that can suppress that evilness that the primal brain that can turn us into monsters sam raimi presents the possession rated pg-13 in theaters August 31st.